Welcome back to part 6. Probably gonna be the last recording this night. Um, do enjoy and let's continue. So they had a baby and escaped from the fireplace. And now she got a bashed, head bashed in and um, she's kind of dreaming or whatever. Afterlife, whatever. She's about to die anyway. Just like a crown. She's getting some kind of flashbacks and such. Just to say, and I'll take you back. This is it. Light. Showing me this. Is she, is she my mother?
Yeah, that's her. Concussions and skull fractures. She's been in a coma for several months. Can we see her? No. Are you family? We're with the CIA. This girl is wanted for treason. So we have an arrest warrant if that's what you need. Okay. I'll take you to her. So, where is she? That's weird. This is a room. She should be here. Shit. She went out the window. Oh, that's impossible. We're on the fifth floor. She couldn't go out the window. Call it in. That girl cannot get away. First night. <clears throat> it won't be for long. Just long enough for them to find out what's going on. Please don't leave me here. Just for a couple of days. You'll see. Time will go by fast. Susan, we need to go. There's no reason to drag this out. Be brave, darling. You're strong. I know you're strong. It's hard leaving your home and your family. But here we have a better chance of understanding what's happening. We can find a way to protect you. Nobody can protect me. Your belongings are in that bag over there. Cole and I are right next door. If you need anything or if anything's wrong, just call and we'll come right away. Okay? Good night, Jody. All right. Find somewhere to change. put cameras in here too.
to bed now, Jody. I'm gonna turn off the light now. Good night, Jody. Wait. Can you leave the light on in the hall? I don't like it when it's dark. Sure. How's that? Good. Good night. Night. Don't be afraid, Aiden. We're gonna have a good night's sleep. And nothing is gonna happen. See, every time she says that, something bad is gonna happen. I can't sleep, Aiden. I think I need a story. Piss off you wanker.
I said no. End of story. Please, Nathan, just this once. All the other girls in my class are going, and I won't be late. I promise, okay? You're wasting your breath, Jody. It's just not fair. How come everyone can go and I can't? I do everything you ask of me all week, and I never get to have any fun. For the hundredth time, you're not like everyone else, and there are rules. Well, I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. Good night. I'll be next door. Let me know if you need anything. Do it, babe. Rules are rules. You better let me out. You better let me out, because if you don't, I'm gonna stop working in class, and you can say goodbye to ever working with Aiden ever again. Knock it off, Jody. Now you're just acting like a child.
I'm, I'm really sorry, Cole. I hate myself for doing this, but... You understand, right? I just... I need to go out tonight. Yeah, I know. It's too late to turn back now. Well, hello, Cole, Jody. A little late for a day trip, isn't it? Yeah, I just, I'm feeling, um, I'm not, I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling sick, so we were just gonna go, um, and get some fresh air. You okay? Um, you want, you want us to call the infirmary? No, 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 there's, there's, there's no need. I'm, um, you know, Cole's looking after me, so. Right, Cole? Yeah, so. What's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Hmm? He, uh, he's in a really bad mood. I, I, he hasn't even said a word all day. He doesn't feel too much like talking today. Uh, I think his um, his grandmother died or something. Uh. Uh, he, he lost he, he lost his voice. I think it's like a a virus or something. That's more than, that's more than I've gotten out of him all, all day long, so. Well, it's not contagious, buddy. You should be home in bed if you ask me. Safer for all of us. All right, well, see ya. Go on now. At least we don't have to look for Cole's car. There's cameras everywhere. Better not hang around here too long. Get in the car and start it up. Damn. 
not really out of sight. You'll forgive me, right? I'll be back soon. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, Aiden, take him into the forest. Make sure he's safe. This is the place. The girls must be inside already. We're not here yet. We'll wait. How old are you, Miss? I'm 21. I just want to eliminate. Ladies first. Got no worldly possessions. Just my bag and these clothes on my back. No woman at home to free me. Cause I'll never be going back. Sunshine is my compass. What you doing in here all the night? Stars are my guide. Someone asked me to years from now will I just about to meet some friends. Oh, we'll be here any minute.
truth be told, you look kind of young to be in here. How old are you? Nearly 17. Old enough. Whoa! I'm impressed. Your parents know you're in here? Actually, I snuck out to meet my friends. Oh, oh yeah, your friends. The ones who ain't shown up yet. Hey, back off! Come on, baby, you know you want to. Bro, that's what happens, you damn rednecks. Jody, my God, are you all right? Good God, what happened? I just wanted to go out. Don't you need like everyone else for once? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Alone. I don't know how to tell you this, Jody, so I'm just gonna tell you. Your mom and I, we've been transferred. We have to leave the base. We really want to take you with us, but we think... Everyone thinks that it would be better for you to stay here with Professor Dawkins. Of course, we'll come to see you whenever it's possible. 
possible. And when you're better, you'll join us in our new home. Okay? Well, I think it's for the best. Goodbye, dear. Passa de soil. That's enough. Come on. Red dick. <laughs> Look, I'm totally exhausted and thirsty, and I have no clue where we fucking are, so just play nice and give me a break, okay? And that's the end of my streamcast for this time. Hope you guys enjoyed. And see you in the next part of the game. Cheers.